Everybody, welcome to the Santa stream today. We are taking a look at Drambo. So Drambo, uh, I I basically didn't use Drambo for a long, 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 long time until Child of the Corn Dog sent me his presets, and that really got me into Drambo again a bit. So I'm no expert, uh, so I'm learning like uh, anybody else who may be learning as well. So the what I'm going to do is take you through a couple of things that you can do to help you get you started. Let's ignore this. Anytime you want to get rid of anything that's in Drambo, like a, like a module or something, all you need to do is just grab it, drag it down, and it will disappear. Or you have a choice of holding on the top of a module, letting go, and then deleting it like that. So, you know, that's how you do it. So let's just basically start with uh, a couple of things. Drambo saves things in a couple of ways. Okay, and this initially confused me, but now it makes complete sense. So, for instance, if we put this little plus button here, and I'm going to go to um, MIDI and add in a MIDI to CV, which was the thing that I just dropped out. Then I'm going to add an oscillator, so generator, so just a, a, a basic oscillator. So we'll just put oscillator in, and you hear it starts to make noise. Then I'm going to add in a processor and I'm going to add in an ADSR envelope. So amp envelope ADSR. And now we've got our control via a keyboard. Um, okay, so, th so this is in absolute essence the most basic, basic synth you could build in Drambo. So other than that, if you're a synth expert or you're great with modular, because that's basically what it is, it's modular. You can build up super complex synths. However, you don't need to worry about doing all this kind of stuff right at the beginning because Drambo A comes with a load of presets and also it will host your AUV3s. So now you've got this super complex <laughs> synth that I've just built, which isn't complex at all. However, let's add uh, just add, let's add another couple of things to it. Let's just move this a little bit until you see that plus sign there. So it's the same as this plus sign here, but Drambo builds stuff. Drambo builds stuff from left to right. Okay, so you just move that there like this, and then you hit plus. Oh, sorry, and it'll open this up. So the next thing we we would normally want is a filter. So let's just do that. Let's put a filter in, and that would be in a processor. So an analog filter, and now. And then let's change the waveform to a sawtooth. And let's add one more thing. Let's add some effect. So again, in processor is where your effects will be. Let's just add a delay effects. Let's just again move this analog filter this way until we see the little plus. And this time let's go to modulator and we can look for LFO. So you have a graphic modulator, LFO, mini LFO. Let's just add an LFO into there like this. And then I am going to like for the LFO, I would like the LFO to control the cutoff here, which is kind of a kind of a thing you, you can do with LFO. So if I tap cut off here like this, you'll see that it says select output for the cutoff. Well, I want the output for the cutoff to be in LFO. 
and then you'll see that in the analog filter here this little lfo uh, has appeared here and this is the amount so to control the lfo we just need to increase the amount so let's do that and then we have frequency amount phase and we could add another LFO to control resonance and on and on and on and on you go so you build your super synth right so So we can take the amount of that down a little bit, I guess. And also slow it down. Now, it's at the moment it's mono. MIDI to CV, where it says voices, we can have up to eight voice polyphonics. So let's choose eight voices. And now we've built our first poly synth. Very, very basic stuff, right? So super, super basic. <coughs> Excuse me. I would like to make this into an instrument to keep forever. So say for instance, you've built this great big massive thing, right? This huge synth and you would like to save it. This is how you do it, right? On any of the modules here, you just long hold. And when it turns green, you let go. It'll say, cut, copy, select all, select all right like this so they're all highlighted and then what you do okay you cut so there's nothing there you then go into your new and then you can select uh, eight tracks midi to cv or eight tracks or eight tracks rack instruments well select eight tracks rack instruments and you'll see this will appear okay and then you hit the little plus here and then all you need to do is go at the bottom of that list there is paste paste and there is that instrument and at the end of that instrument now you will see this little extra thing has appeared with the uh two little arrows in there that was at the beginning there so this is our instrument again still we well, see it's gone back to one voice so we're going to select our eight po eight voices again and now we're going to tap this here and this will make it into an instrument and you'll see it actually says instrument there so all we want to do now is on where it says instrument is tap on it and then it say presets and then i'll go down to doug and then i will go save and I'll just call this um, polybrass, polybrass, and that'll do. And then just uh, hit enter, and it's saved. Now it is saved in polybrass. Now this is the thing <coughs> that's saving an instrument or how to load an instrument. It's the same kind of vibe, right? So I'll show you that as well. So we can get off this. So there's our instrument we've saved. Let's go with a new uh, eight, 8 MIDI to CV thing again. All right, so nothing there. Let's press plus. Let's go to uh, generator and let's go to instrument rack again. Tap the little burger. Uh, you can go and find uh, your where you've put it. So Doug, and there it is, poly brass. And there, there's our, there's our instrument. And for some, for some reason, I'll, I'll just do it like that. It didn't say my poly, but so you've 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 basically built your instruments and you've brought it back in. Okay, so. But these other ones here, these are now empty tracks, okay? But you don't have to finish using this. You could then stack another instrument next to this. 
it could be something that's in the instrument rack for instance or it could be an audio unit so let's put an audio unit in there let's put in say um apparillo and we can go full screen with it as well if we want to and we can find a patch that we like so what's in cinematic i don't know right But you can't hear the poly brass now so say we, we would like to hear both of them well all we need to do is add a mixer so we go plus here and where it says mixer in the list go mixer and then plus mixer and you get a mixer and then you tap on the little plus and the first one you want to connect to this one tap on the little plus and then the next one tap on aperio's connection there and it even comes up there aperillo or poly brass so Now you have both of them. And you've created quite a nice synth. Now we could do the whole thing again and convert this into an instrument by holding select all <coughs> and it'll select those. And we could do the whole thing again, create, make that into an instrument. But if we don't want to do that, we just want to leave it like this. We can then save this as a project. So there are two ways to save. You save as instruments or effects or projects. Okay. So for a start off, let's just save this as a new project. So we open this and save as this time. And here's the project name. Remember, it was 8-Tracks MIDI to CV to begin with. But we'll call this um, uh, um, te te uh, testing two call it testing two and just hit save and now if we go to our projects and go open and say look there's one that um, i did do the other day so we'll just hit load this one for the start off so there's one let's go back here and go open and go into testing two and it'll load back in so that's our that's our you know this is our project now it's not an instrument it's using two instruments right it's using the polybrass thing we made and it's using a, 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 an aparillo by sugar bites let's let's just not worry about this for a sec let's go to number two this time let's hit the plus button let's go to generator because these are the things that are going to make your sounds because you have all sorts of stuff midi all kinds of cool stuff because you can use it as a midi sequencer and aum and stuff like that Let's go to uh, instrument rack this time and choose. Um, no, actually, no, let's not. Let's go with this AN kick, which is like an analog. It does three things. And this thing is just on its own. It's just a kick. That's all it is. So we can do this. And that's a, a, a little bit quiet for my liking. We could now go into the mixer here and turn the kick up okay we'll do that we'll leave it like that but then let's add some let's add some uh, uh, effects to this we could put a compressor on there or we could use an audio unit and we could use say uh, wherever it's gone um even if it's on here i'm not sure if it's on on here actually it should be though it might not be i was looking for beef doesn't oh no right sorry guys processor audio unit because that's your effects right and then beef should be here there it is here's beef now and now beef will be automatically rooted to you don't have to do any connections yourself only you can break the connections if you want to so So now we've made a really nice kick, but we could save this as an instrument if we wanted to, but we won't. But what we will do is just go save and it'll just save our project for us. So now on track two, we've got this, this kick we've just made and we could now hit the decay. 
okay on there. So this is track two, so track one. Here's our instrument we made. Okay, so you can also obviously use Drambo as a, it's a groove box, right? So you can record your own stuff in there. You see along the top it says one, and then you can add, you can add scenes in. Let's just leave it at those three scenes that I've just added. But you'll see that the blue one is highlighted, uh, is the one that's going to be playing. The scenes have nothing to do with the tracks, okay? The, the, the instruments can play different things per scene, as, I, as I'll show you. So let's go to scene one. Let's long hold on it. And then this is where you get your options. You can insert, duplicate, copy, paste, remove. So I could copy any information from scene one to scene two. However, the important bits we want here are beats in pattern. And you'll see there are four beats in pattern. So basically it's one bar long. Okay. So if you press play, you won't hear anything, but I'll, I'll sort that out in a sec. Actually, what I'll do is I'll just, you can choose up to 64, but there's another easy way. Just put the times two here and it will double up. So let's have it as two bars long. Okay. It's basically that. So now if you watch the little counter as it goes round, it will take two bars to come round. And you will also notice that here where it said one over one is now changed to one over two. So now you're seeing along the sequencer here, this. It, and if we go to number two, now you can record all this in, in via MIDI as well. So, you know, that's fine. So there you go. So there is scene number one. Okay. Now, if I go back to this now, I could add So I think I'm I'm gonna um, and I'm gonna actually play this in. Okay, so you can have a look at your options for um, pre-roll. I've got four beats, so uh, you've got parameter locking as well. Maybe a bit more advanced. Um, we've got pre-roll four beats. Quantization is on, and overdubbing is on, which is good. Uh, if we choose our metronome, BPM is 120, metronome is on recording, off, always, recording, I want my metronome on while I'm recording. Swing, sync, sync is off, we're not syncing to another door, we're only using um, Drambo's internal sequencer at the moment, so that's fine. Loop, I think that will become apparent, obviously it will just keep looping if that if loop is on. And if I arm record now and then press, um, I'll get a four, part, a four bar counting. There you go. And you can see it's a chord. There's the bass drum. So you basically created your first beat over one. Now, if we go to the second scene now, there's obviously nothing going to be there at all. So it's it's completely empty. So let's go back to scene one. And this time, let's long hold again. And let's copy scene one. Go to scene two, hold, and then paste. And now we've pasted the information from scene to, uh, one into scene two. Okay. That's kind of straight, straightforward. So instrument one here, instrument two is the kick. Let's add another one. Let's add uh, something else. Let's let's add uh, maybe generators. Got to be a generator if we want to hear noise. Let's go to our instrument rack this time, our basic one. Let's go to our factory patches and instruments. And let's just choose anything. I don't know. Um, what's this electric guitar? <laughs> Okay, let's 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 use that sound. Uh, but let's go to our mixer. We can go to main to see that. Uh, now this this guitar. 
this guitar, this is one of the included instruments you get. Now you see where this joined up as an instrument. Remember how we made our instrument a bit earlier. If you tap on this, you can open it up completely and see all the instruments and, uh, and components that we used to make that instrument and then add other stuff in. So if you added something there, you just need to drag it down and move it to where you want it to. It's kind of like that. That's how it works. So, so now we've got this in number two. It's the same as what was happening in number one. I can have a bit of a practice. Okay, that'll do. So I'll just hit record. What will happen um, if <clears throat> what will happen is let's cop let's let me show you it easy if I show you I'll just copy this again or we could duplicate it but I'm going to go into number three and I'm just going to go paste but for this third one here and I'm going to go back to our instrument here and I'm just going to switch that chord off for the first part and switch that chord off so that poly brass thing <laughs> isn't going to be in the third section when it comes around so if i play that section now it's just going to be the kick drum and that guitar thing this. so we want it to play as a song now if you hot long hold again this is where you can set up how many times the, the scenes will repeat before they swap over to the next scene so let's say uh, let's have this repeat twice um let's have uh the second one let's have that repeat um maybe uh, twice as well so it'll go around again and go around again and let's have leave the third one which has just got the guitar and the kick let's um just leave that repeat once and I, or you can also name them as well so let's go back to uh, the first scene okay uh, make sure see what will happen is if if you have uh, a loop armed it will just carry on looping and you'll be wondering why isn't it tracking through my scenes so make sure that loop is switched off and then you can start your song <laughs> And that's that's basically how you build up a track now this is this is a uh, uh, all, all, all very nice so you can you can build up uh, um, tracks as much as you like uh, build up as much you can you know you can just carry on adding more instruments in and stuff like this uh, like you could go you could add a snare in there or you could add some drums and stuff you know there's some kits in here as well there are tons of free uh, um, instruments and things available uh, on the internet in patch storage for drambo and it's like uh, there's literally hundreds and hundreds of them so yeah now now i'm going to show you how you can build a a uv3 super synth okay so let's 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 save our project anyway so that yet yeah, that's done and let's um well we're all right we, we've already <coughs> i want to do a new um eight tracks rack instrument excuse me um actually i don't what i want to do is hold on to this we can just drag that down like that let's add an instrument rack well that's the same thing do um i'm gonna add a midi to cv which is what i was originally there with the starter for now i'm gonna do is this i'm going to go to generator i'm gonna go to audio unit instrument here I'm gonna go with say um, 
Let's go with, oh, maybe a Lorenz, okay. Where's my, um, we can go full screen if we want to as well. And I'm, next to that, I'm going to put in a processor and it's going to be just a, uh, actually, oh, let me see. Uh -huh. No, a compressor. Relax. I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use, I think, maximizer. So audio unit instruments. I just want to show you how you can mix and match. It's really cool. So let's go with FAC maximizer. Again, I've made the mistake of not choosing processor audio unit. Um, you get used to that. It's like it's like in AUM. Um, Bear with me while I find FAC Maximizer. Okay, cool, there it is. I maybe choose a different sound now. Okay, so now we've got that sound from Lorenz with a maximizer on it. Let's add a generator, audio unit, instrument. Let's add something like, um, you can add Drambo as well, because Drambo's in their UV3. It's a bit, it's nuts really, when you think about it. Um, let's add a, ooh, what was that? I just added Geo Shred. Nah, don't want Geo Shred. Okay, just drag down. Uh, audio units, instrument. I did see frames, there we go. So now, there's a patch from frames. Let's choose another one. Now the cool thing is that this frames is not gonna be affected by that maximizer. And you can't hear Lorenz at the moment, but there's a reason for that, which we'll get into in just a sec. So let's add something else, generator. Let's add maybe a, oh, we'll definitely add a Quanta, and then that's it. So we'll be able to hear Quanta now. So let me just run this from, um, don't know why I can't hear that. I should be able to hear Quanta. Try again. Well, let me try with, um, just to make sure that I'm actually doing this right. What have I done here? What have I done? What in a great googly moogly? And that's very strange. Let's take Maxima out. It's weird. You should be able to build up as many of these as you want. Add an agonizer. Audio unit instrument, Aperillo. Okay, let's add. 
add let's go down and add um synth master 2 it's weird that is weird <laughs> there may be something to do with this let's make sure this is full on i don't think it is i think it's something i think it's something completely different anyway like i said i like me i too i'm a complete beginner so i'm gonna try with um factory I'm not sh I really don't know why this isn't triggering. That's very strange, that is. That should be triggering now the same because it's the next thing in the, in the thing. Um, never mind. Let's just do it with the three because it's the same thing. If you want to build these three instruments, you need to add a mixer to hear them together like i said before so you need to go to mixer add a mixer tap on the little plus and then fit add the instruments that you want in like this and now you'll you'll hear them all So there's all those three instruments and they're all they're all set up for you to kind of kind of do what you like with take your time well like i said let's just go through this one more time um and you long hold on the top of anything select all then cut open this go to new go to do go to this hit plus hit paste and then there is your instrument. You can close this now like that. So you have a. So now you've got a mixture of Lorenz Agonizer and Aparillo. So you've created a really unique sound. Okay, and then tap on this tap on presets tap on your folder that you'll have made and just hit save call it whatever you want um 3 au v3 and then basically just hit save and it will save it into your sorry uh, enter and it will save it into your 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 patch but let me show you something you see this medieval lead i made that's what for for um for a use in there so you can then like i said you could add another instrument you go to generator instrument rack you could use some of uh child of the corn dogs now you could go to maybe, maybe melodic choose this one and then kind of uh, mess with that like i demoed them the other night and then if you added a mixer at the end here you could mix these two together which is what you'd want to do if they were running the same thing okay so let's run let's have a look at, let's have a look at it in aum shall we uh so it's it's a uh, give you an idea so let's open a couple of tracks here let's run drambo heart audio unit and drambo so now drambo is running now what you can't do is when you're using it in AUM, because you're, it doesn't, you can't load an audio unit inside it because that is a limitation of Apple, nothing to do with, with anything else. However, <coughs> what we're going to do now is we're going to get this now to play some external synths. So I want to basically show you how to set up uh, it as a MIDI controller. So it's very simple, really. First thing we want to do is that we you don't even need the midi to cv because that is for playing 
synth since I had Drambo. So if you wanted to do that, you'd just add this and go, oh, instrument rack, right? Oh, I don't know, in factory uh, instruments, what's this one here? And then um, make sure, of course, that um, you're selected in to play. Now, of course, you can record in exactly the same as sequence in. But we're going to get rid of that. And we might as well get rid of that as well. We'll tap on this. This time, we're going to go to MIDI. And you see where it says MIDI output. We're going to choose MIDI output. And then where there's the two little lines here, we're going to choose MIDI out. And then where it says Omni, we're going to choose channel. Um, well, let's just choose channel three and go there like this. And now we're just going to add a synth in that we can use. So say, for instance, uh, this synth master two. I don't need to worry about anything really just yet. So I'm going to just browse for a brass sound. I'm going to go down to sort of kind of um, where does it say brass? Brass. I have no idea, honestly, guys, how this will sound because there's so many presets in Synthmaster 2. I don't know them all. Like, but you know, we can choose the sound anyway, if depending on. Right. So let's go in here. Make sure that Drambo is a MIDI source for Synthmaster 2. Let's also go to our channel filter and choose none, and then select channel three because you you just root in channels now, right? So. You just want to go in here, boink, like this, and there it is, right? So if I play my MIDI keyboard or my what's it? Okay. Now Drambo is playing, is, is sending MIDI out to, sending MIDI out to um, Synthmaster 2. So now what we can do, right, is we can use Drambo to record a sequence so let's hold this let's do with uh, let's go times time 16 so we've got four bars four bars of stuff we can play uh, nothing nothing on there by the way because we haven't set that up yet instrument 2 we're just worried about this I'm gonna low mo the octave on So we're going to use AUM's clock. So I'm going to switch switch this on there, the sequencer. And you see it's tracking along now. And we put record on. So I can play now. Boom. Switch that off. Switch that off. Set this to receive, and I'm only gonna I'm gonna channel filter it now. Non channel four. Go back to Drambo. Choose instrument lack number two. Go to MIDI, MIDI output. Select MIDI out. Select channel four. Now what we're going to do is record some uh, MIDI information for Synthmaster 1 to play. So what we need to do is... Mm -hmm. 
There you go. Okay, so it doesn't really end there. We can also use Drambo's in AU3 effects unit. just add in processor and now we're in the Drambo effects now we're using Drambo's effects but we can go further than that now obviously we can put in like say a, a flanger and exactly you could build up a great big effects rack in exactly the same way as you saved your instruments you can uh, just save this but save instead of saving it in the instrument rack you save it in the processor instrument rack and that way you've got all your effects kind of sorted. Some stuff guys there you go i don't really, i don't really want to go any further because this is that's about as much as i know <coughs> at the moment so and i learned this just through i will want to get into things like this but there's all sorts of stuff you can do with ratcheting and things like this for each of the each of the notes and stuff like retrigger notes velocity probability retrigs you can it's you you have got i will cover this in another video but you see this a and b here you have lots of these actually these you have um right a b a to p by the looks of it you could probably even add more i don't know but these are parameter locks so whatever you set here in a and then you go to b you set up new ones and then you can walk between the two or actually just jump between them or any any of them you like really uh it's so it's, so, it's, it's very deep but it can be very simple like that it's uh you know it's not like incredibly complicated it can be if you watch some of the if you if you're going to watch a series of videos watch um from the beginning uh and, and stick with it you know because if you kind of dive into tutorial series that are kind of way on down the line you don't know it's going to look very complicated because dramble can be absolutely insanely complex or it can be insanely simple like in, in this instance this is insanely simple all drambo is doing is playing synth master 2 and synth master 1 that's all it's doing we haven't set up any other instruments although we could we can add what we like in here as well as to to play uh, those instruments but let's see if we can do that shall we all right this might not work i don't know this is just a thought <laughs> So there's our Synth Master 2 been affected by Drambo. Let's add in. Now, honestly, guys, I don't know how, how to get this to work. So, you know, <clears throat> let's open this here. Oh, I'm not, ah, wait. Right, let's open that. Let's, let's stop that for a moment and go to instrument one i'm gonna add it there um oh, i'm gonna go to generator i'm gonna go to instrument rack so i'm gonna choose one of drambo's instruments um one of the factory ones just fact factory it's got a, also got a wavetable thing now it's just very cool so what's this oh, it's okay so i might need to do a bit of a uh, bit of messing around here uh, right, okay, so I'm going to just move that over to the CV little plus. Go in here and add MIDI to CV. Ah, super. 
super. If I turn down that now completely. Ah, right, super duper. I'll add maybe four note poly. So this is this now. So now I can blend. So now, what? because we're on one, this will play. This will play. Um, sorry, we need to start. So if we blend back in now, we're playing an instrument inside. And then um, as well now. so on and so forth until you've built up a really cool track so yeah i it's it's pretty but you see the thing is the more you play with it the more you think oh yeah i see i get it that's that's you know that's how it works is it i mean trampo has been out for absolutely yonks and uh is it incredibly incredibly popular and and, and and loved on ios it's just it always for me it always seems a bit too much you know but since doing child of the corn dogs uh, things other than I, I'm like thinking oh, that, this is really good and also good for review purpose is because in standalone mode it behaves like almost any other door I can I can test AUV 3s in there I can build m m multiple uh, instruments and effects in here to demonstrate certain things so run my AUV 3 effects it'll run, run my ordinary AUV 3s so very, yeah, very impressed actually. I, I wish I'd have spent more time with it a long time ago, so I'd have been a lot further advanced with it now. However, in a way, it's quite nice because when you do this job for a long time, you've kind of like get into a rut of using. We'll use AUM, you use, you know, uh, Cubasis or a Nano Studio. It's nice then you <coughs> be able to show people the different options as well. Like I'll also be doing some more matrix stuff. Although I have done that in the past. <laughs> Also, a couple of things it's had added since um, I was um, first. If I go here now, I should be able to just run a generator. It's had this new. Um, if we go to instrument rack, sorry. Um, no, wait. Let me just start a new a new drambo. Uh, let me open drambo here. Yeah. Um, it's had some uh, new oscillators and things added. So um, I'll just make sure that this is hooked up to my Artoria and run this. And if we open uh, Instrument Rack, um, what am I doing wrong here? Oh, no, nothing. There we go. Right, so factory wave. This is a good one. So wavetable oscillator. So I can show you the wavetable oscillator. If I just get rid of that now and then add um, instrument, new... Uh, instrument rack here and then open this no oh, dog what are you doing <laughs> a new midi to cv sorry right i'm going to start a new in instrument rack i'm going to add some where the hell, uh, wavetable oscillator and i'm going to add in a uh, processor again the We can open this now and we've got loads and loads of uh, wavetables we can mess with, so. Let's 
send this polyphony up on this one. <laughs> So there you go guys there is uh, some of the stuff well i'll be using drambo in future videos anyway maybe do a few more tutorials of specifics um but yeah maybe do one just for again go into some more detail about the actual sequencing and stuff like that so yeah awesome thank you very very much for joining me and watching me stumble through it as well which is a good thing you know, because it's all, it's I'm still learning it and only been a couple of days since I really messed around with it. Guys, I'll give you a few minutes to say ta to each other. Thank you very, very much for joining me this evening uh, where we did take a look at Drambo in various bits and pieces. Jade's up next doing Mangled Verb. Uh, so I will see you all tomorrow. Do you never use BM3? Never use it, Reginald. So if you ask me that honestly, Drambo, yeah, of course. I, but I don't use a beat maker three i don't it's like again it's something else i maybe we'll get into in the future i don't know i have done lots of beat maker three tutorials through more so than drambo so <laughs>so I'll close the mic and I'll see you all tomorrow Ta -da. I'm just going to let you say to each other for a couple of minutes spider should get this I bet he'd be brilliant <laughs>